Hi, I'm Amber Schroeder, the CEO at Paraben Corporation, and welcome to your trial of the E3 platform. I'm here to help guide you through the use of that platform and explain some of the design behind it. We designed the tool to be easy to use so anyone can get started doing digital forensics. The interface is relatively simple. It works from left to right. So you start in the left tab and you add your evidence. You move to the second tab to do your analysis, continue on to specialized tools, exporting data, and doing reports. So we do try to make it simple and a great way for you to create a good SOP for your organization is we kind of build it into the interface. I myself am dyslexic, so I like it when things are very upfront and intuitive and easy to use. So I contribute in our design process and making sure that's happening with our tools. I will guide you through some trial version uh, labs that we've created for you to try to make it a little easier for you. You can then, of course, use the tool on any evidence that you have for practice and then see what you like about it. Our technical support is available to you as well. So we are happy to get your feedback and work through the process of using the trial with you. It is a 15-day fully functional trial, so it is a good opportunity for you to see how you can add paraben into your lab. Thank you so much, and let's get started. So for this section, to get you really going, we want to make sure that you know how to get it registered. Each trial still requires a form of registration. We do a web license as our default registration for our trials. This is pretty easy to do. It allows you to essentially log into the tool on any uh, system that you decide to install it to. So we think it's very convenient. It's a great option for your lab as well, where you can install it on every computer and then choose which machine you want to use when you're ready to process evidence. We have two other licensing options available. One of them is a hardware ID, which locks it to a single computer, and the other option is a dongle. Uh, that's our traditional method that's been in the digital forensic space for a very long time. We can also license to virtual machines. I myself am a huge virtual machine user, so I do like it. Um, with the virtual machine, your only licensing options are both the web license and a dongle license. So for the trial, by default, we're going to give you a web license. If there is an issue with that where you do not have internet connection coming to the machine you're running the trial on, you can opt to have a hardware ID license given to you. All you have to do is ask the representative that's working with you on the licensing and they'll be able to get that for you. So I'm going to have one of our team members walk you through the licensing process to set up a web license so that uh, you can get familiar with it and get started on your trial. This tutorial will show you how to install E3, the mobile driver packs, and how to activate your web license. To install E3, you will need to go to Paraben's website, www.paraben.com. Then you will need to locate the customer zone. Click on that and go to products. Here you will see the E3 universal. Click download. If you're doing mobile acquisitions, you will also need to download the E3 mobile driver pack and the E3 mobile bootloader drivers. If you plan on using a hash database, go ahead and click download right here. Additionally, you will also need the .NET Framework version 4.6.1. If you do not have this installed on your machine, click this hyperlink. It'll take you to Microsoft's site to where you can download it. Additionally, if you go back to drivers, if you're running a Windows 7 machine service pack one, you will also need to include these downloads, the security update for Windows and the Windows 7 untrusted publisher driver dialog hotfix. Now that the downloads have successfully completed, I'm going to click show all and we're going to show in the folder and we're first going to run the triple e 14exe this is the e3 product so double click on that paraben's electronic evidence examiner wizard appears click next accept the licensing agreement terms click next default location is fine by me so i'm going to click next and install
the installation has completed. I'm going to go ahead and uncheck this box because we've already downloaded the driver packs and we're going to click finish. And no, we do not want to reboot my computer right now. And then I'm going to go with the E3 mobile driver pack. This installation takes between four to five minutes because there's a plethora of drivers that you'll need to do mobile acquisition. Paraben's E3 mobile driver pack wizard will appear. Click next. Accept the licensing term agreement. Click next. Leave default. Click next. And click install. Again, this is going to take a few minutes of your time, so just be patient. Our software uses Google Earth, so if you get a um, Google Earth install wizard, click install. Once the Google Earth install has completed, I uncheck both of these boxes and click finish. And then the driver pack will continue to install. The installation wizard has completed, so go ahead and click finish. And then we are going to install the E3 recovery collection install. This is for if you want to use the bootloader acquisition. So just double click on that to get that rolling. And we're going to go ahead and click next. We're going to accept the licensing agreement. Click next. Default location is fine by me. Next and install. And we're finished. Click finish. Go ahead and reboot your machine. Once you have successfully rebooted, the E3 icon will appear on your desktop. Go ahead and double click on that. And it takes just a moment for the program to load. If you get a warning box that says all PIDs assigned to your account are currently in use, go ahead and click OK. And we are going to choose a different type of activation and we're going to choose internet license. This is the web license that you were emailed that was in your account. If you had not had any communication yet with anyone from Paraben for this trial, you will need to go to Paraben's homepage and then scroll down and it says if you would like to do a trial of E3, please click on trial. Click this hyperlink, fill out this form, and someone will get back to you within one to two business days issuing that license to your account. For everyone else who's received that communication from Paraben, go ahead and click on Internet License. Activate. The connection to a web server wizard will appear. You're going to put in your login email address, which you use to, at register.paraben.com to create that account. You're going to put your email address in and then your password. I uncheck this box, save credentials for future use. If you are going to use the Paraben E3 software on multiple uh, computers and you only have one login, click connect. Currently I don't have a license in my account. One moment please. Now that I have a license in my account, I'm going to go ahead and push OK. I'm going to go through the same step, click activate. I'm going to uncheck that box and click connect. E3 is now loading. Now I will show you how to verify your license. Go ahead and click out of this box, go to case, and then you're going to go down to help. Click on help. You can see my registration information, web license server, and what product I am licensed for. This will conclude how to install E3, the drivers, and how to activate your web license.